Hey Kawan, welcome to EDC Ready. Today, this is me and then we have the wife. Yeah, the wife is here. It is now 10.45pm. Uh, our daughter just fell asleep. So if you hear any weird noises, it's coming from our baby monitor, which is way over there. So, do you know what we're going to do today? Um, giving reviews. Yes. So pretty much, I have here my entire assortment of knives. Um, some just arrived, some I've had for a while, some are still on sale and she's going to review them one at a time and then place it in order from most favorite to least favorite. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Rest your hand. Thank Rest you. Hand. Yes. As you can see, I just want to show you guys her hand for comparison. It is a bit smaller but a bit chubbier as well. Yeah. But I'm not chubby though. Yes, sure. Just the hand. Yes. Okay. So we're going to start with uh, one of the oldest knives in my collection. Here you go. What do you think about this guy? This guy is called the 10 gram Santa Fe. Now just so you guys know, she's, she has used some of my knives before when we, when we moved. She cut a lot of cardboard and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah. So she has some experience with using my knives. I've never seen this knives before. But I like the the mechanism of opening it. But I don't like the 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 thing that you have to press here and you know having your fingers in a way for the knife to close down. So yeah, this one uh, okay, just okay. okay. Okay, so where would you put it? Being the first knife, you put it somewhere in the middle. For now, yeah, just okay. in the middle. So you like the thumb studs. These are called thumb studs mm, because yeah. you use your thumb to take it out. Yeah. This is called a liner lock. I don't like a liner lock. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this one. Okay, so one good thing about her is that she keeps very short nails. So sometimes with women, uh, long nails will be a problem for pocket knives. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's good. So we'll just keep it in the middle. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's go with one of the newer ones in my collection. Here you go. What do you think okay. about this guy? Okay, I've used this guy uh, for several times for cutting grass uh, because I, you know, I did my balcony and having those fake grass carpet um, and then this helped a lot. And one thing I don't like about this is the still the linear lines. Like liner locks. So. Liner lock, sorry. The liner locks um, still having to have like your fingers, you know, in the middle of this and then having to close the knife and then it's a it's a like a safety hazard for me and yeah i don't really like that mechanism what do you think of the opening mechanism on this guy this opening mechanism still i i don't like it i i like this thing better why why, why don't you like this one it's, uh, it's pretty hard for me to open it so, yeah so mm -hmm. flipper. this yeah. can actually be opened like this using this little fuller right here but it's actually quite difficult. Yeah, like, it took it's me some difficult. time. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. Okay, so okay. Uh, where would you put this in the scale of uh, most or favorite to least favorite? I just prefer this to that. Yeah. So this is you prefer this over this guy? No, uh, least to this is most favorite. Oh, most favorite. Okay, uh, yeah, here. All right, so quite far on the end there. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's go with uh, something a little bit more. Um, shall we say standard in the EDC. This one is called the Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight. It's an American brand. It's actually made in America. So what do you think about this guy? Okay, this guy I've seen every day because this is one of my husband's favorite and I've used this most of the time to cut open my parcels. <laughs> so this guy, has helped, this guy has helped me a lot. And what I like about this is everything about it. It's um, short, it's like it's very firm to my grip and then it's easy to close because my fingers are not in the way. So that's why I like about this Spyderco and I like to put this one here. But I, I just hope that this one comes in a smaller size. I mean like a little bit smaller than this will be fine. What do you think of the opening hole? So you had a flipper, yeah. you have the stud. What do you mm. think of an opening hole like this? It thing? doesn't give any difference to me because I still use both hands to open this, you know. <laughs> Same thing with this guy, you know. So it doesn't give any um, any difference. So, but I would still rate it, you know. I still like it and I would still rate it to most favorite. 
Okay, in terms of the handle material, do you prefer this handle over this guy? Yeah, this handle, yeah, because this one grips better. Okay, so speaking of two-handed openers, uh, this is a two-handed opening knife. And uh, what do you think about this guy? This is the Civivi Rustic Gent. I remember you really wanted this knife. And because of this beautiful... What's it called again? The blade. The blade. It's a Damascus blade, which means oh, yeah. it is a pattern welder. Uh, yeah. Pattern welded. Is it if, if you can see that. There we go. Yeah, you can see yeah. it now. So, I like the pattern. And I like the shape of the knife. It's really sharp too. So, yeah. But I, did, I, I, I don't like the mechanism of... You don't like a back lock? Yeah. Can you try closing it? No. No, why? I'm getting nervous. Why are you getting nervous? Yeah. Do you think that it's cool because it comes with a little leather sheath in the box? Uh, I don't really like the, the leather cover. Oh, it doesn't. So, because every other knife here has a pocket clip. Mm -hmm. So, I think that that's why it comes in a little pocket clip. So, you like the material of the blade? Yeah. Okay, what about the handle? This is like a very smooth G10, then you have some mm -hmm. carbon fiber here. It's too skinny. Too skinny. Yeah. Like too a little skinny. bit more meat in the hand. Yeah. I like something like this. Yeah, it has more grip to it. Mm. Okay, so together, where will you put this uh, in the scale? Mm. You, here's your favorite, there's your least favorite. Here. Somewhere. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Let's just take it out. No, no, you just leave it there. Just leave it there. Okay. Uh, so let's go to uh, some more uh, high-end stuff. This is also made in America, right? This mm. is the ZT0450 uh, CF. CF stands for carbon fiber, titanium, and uh, S35VN black blade. So what do you think of this guy? Um, okay. I'll still use both hands to open it. <laughs> is it because you're scared? Or is no, it... I'm just scared. Yeah, just... I'm just nervous with okay. knives. Because I have cut myself several times, so I just don't want to cut myself again. And then, yeah, um, I don't find this guy as interesting as the spider Co and this guy. I think that this thing, uh, this guy is almost similar to this one, the, the green army, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so mm. you don't like, so the difference between this guy and this guy is that this is a liner lock, uh. so... It's actually just a liner inside the scale, whereas this guy is a frame lock because the entire frame is a locking mechanism. Mm. It actually makes it harder, but it kind of just functions the same way pretty much. Okay. You don't like it. Still, I don't like it. For the same reasons. You don't like a flipper. And, then, and I don't like having to have the, your finger in the middle. Right. In terms of look, what do you, which one do you think looks better between this guy and this guy? Uh, I think this guy looks better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Looks more neat. Nice, nice. So where will you put this on the scale? Um, yeah, let's still put this here. Put it slightly above the uh, Ferrum Forge stinger. Mm. Okay, we only have a few knives left. Uh, let's go with this guy. This is another really popular knife. So, like in the world of uh, EDC knives, like this is considered like one of the most popular knives. Like this is like the Honda Accord where a lot of people just have it and it's one of those knives like that just work really well. well. I know, I mean, just insert any <laughs> car that sold, that that sells really well in the world. This is like the knife for it. What okay. do you think? This one's called the Benchmade Bugger. So how do you open it? Uh, so it has a thumb stud, same as that guy. Uh, so same thing, you can just roll it out. Oh, I remember this guy. I used this guy to open up the box when we moved in. A lot. As you can see, there's like a... a, a a mark there from yeah. opening all the boxes yeah. and it got really hot too yeah. so what this is all, all the so the, the initial coating is actually like matte like that what this is is that the cardboard box actually polished mm. up the, the coating yeah so it became smoother it became smoother and I think it's kind of like blunted up a little bit yeah. so I like this guy because it's smooth and then what I don't like about this guy is it's a little bit tricky to close Mm -hmm. And but I like the spring, you know, you know, it's pretty nice, pretty neat. Um, I put it here, right? Right, yeah. okay, okay. So, one thing about this guy, this is called an axis lock, so mm. it uses springs to kind of push this bar back and forth, mm. and then this bar is the locking mechanism. Yeah. You don't like this because it just takes a bit too much uh, time. Uh, uh, orientation, right? Yeah. It takes so much muscle. It's a little bit, stri uh, a little bit tricky. Yeah, compared to this guy, which is just a squeeze. Yeah. You just squeeze here and yeah. then it closes. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. It's more safe. 
-hmm. Right. Okay. So this is pretty much it. We have six here. We have one more knife to go. So uh, in the running, in her top three, we have a uh, Spyderco Para Three Lightweight. We have the Benchmade Bagel. We have the Ten Grand Santa Fe, followed by the two carbon fiber knives, and then the Stinger. Now, uh, I don't think my wife uh, knows, but when I did my top, my favorite knife in my collection, this is also in my top three. Mm. In uh, my order is different. I like this guy more than this guy. Mm. Okay, I have this guy before this guy, but my top three is the same. Mm. So last one here, we have uh, one of the, uh, in fact, this is the newest one uh, in the collection. This is the Spyderco Native 5 Salt. Now, a couple of things uh, you should know about this guy. This is called the Salt Line from Spyderco, same brand, mm. which means that this knife is almost exactly, almost, it's pretty much rust proof. Mm. Like all these knives could rust. This knife, you can put it in seawater for a week and it wouldn't rust. Mm. Nice. So uh, what do you think about this guy? It's the brightest color of all the... Interesting color. <laughs> yeah, interesting color, first of all. And then... Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard to open. I don't know why. Maybe you need to oil it first. Uh, I already have. It's just a it's just a hard knife <laughs> to open. And close. Okay, so how do you close this? You, you compress this. Yeah. I press this. Yeah, just press this. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, it's not as the smoothest knife I've ever felt. Um, definitely, uh, eh, no, no, I still like this guy better. Yeah, so one of the reasons why it's kind of like rough has a few reasons. Number one is the kind of locking mechanism here, mm. kind of makes it rough uh, on the back of the blade here. Also, being salt proof, uh, on the inside of these guys, you have uh, washers, oh, okay. and inside of these guys, you have bearings. Mm -hmm. But those bearings and those washers can rust over yes. time. Yeah. Whereas this is like just metal on plastic, pretty much. Oh, I see. Which so kinda... you get more friction there. Yeah, you definitely get more friction. Mm. Okay. Uh, black pocket clip. It's just a. This is like, to me, one of the most headache free knives because I don't really need to ever worry about it rusting or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with that into, uh, in consideration, uh, backlog, just like this guy. Mm. This is a backlog as well. Uh, rust proof knife. What, what do you think of the ergonomics, like how it holds in hand? Uh, one thing I like about Spyderco, they almost have like um, almost um, similar designs to for the grip, so they're very ergonomic. Yeah. And uh, I don't see very much difference between this guy and this guy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm. it's just that this guy is slimmer and less bulky yeah mm. we do know that this is a finger trial it means it's actually designed to for you to grip all the way up to the top there that's yeah. why it has the jimping as well yeah so um so where would you place this guy this guy how do i put here wow really yeah okay well, i mean like uh, i was quite surprised i actually thought you you would put it lower than than this guy i would I would not. I mean, I, I like to put it to third, oh. third best. Oh. Even Why? though that I don't like the 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 whole friction thing, it's pretty hard to open. But I, maybe for not getting used to this, if I got used to this, then maybe I will like it better. But the whole thing, the ergonomic thing, and then maybe because I'm biased, I like spider coal. Oh, okay, so uh, yeah, between uh, <laughs> but I don't like the color. You don't like the color. No. Just so you know, my wife's favorite knife that she's ever used of mine is the dragonfly. Remember the yeah. spider dragonfly, the small one. Mm. She really likes that one because she's not scared of that one. Yeah, and then you sold it. Yeah, you sold it. It's okay, I'm still working on getting another one. Okay, so uh, final thoughts on my collection. So all of these are yours. Uh, yeah, all of these are mine. Some I got on discount, some I got second hand, mm. and uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, it's a pretty cool collection. I've never seen most of the knives before. I've seen this one, this one, this one, and this one. The rest of this knives are pretty new so well, well you've seen this one this one and this one and this one right yeah this has been around for like a really long time these mm. two are new like maybe these two just you new. haven't taken out this this maybe. guy yeah to be it. honest i i don't really carry this guy very mm, much that's why i've never seen I'm, um, i for the last six months i've been 50 50 wondering if i should get rid of this guy or not mm. that's all 
Yeah, very cool. Okay. Uh, by the way, this guy uh, is still for sale. Uh, if you want to know, just hit me in the comment section. And I'll let you guys know uh, how to uh, purchase this guy. Okay. Thank you so much, wifey. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. And uh, if you guys uh, want to subscribe to watch more night reviews, just subscribe. And uh, comment below which one of these are your top three and your bottom three. Which one lands in the middle. Okay, guys. Thank you. And stay ready. Bye.